Hello and welcome to the Sweaty Startup. Let's talk about customers. So everybody knows what it's like to have those customers that are unreasonable, complain, they beat you up on price, they get refunds, they have you come back for more work. In every business, 20% of the customers cause 80% of the headache. And I'm not talking about 20% number wise of the customers. I'm talking about 20% of your revenue. 20% of your revenue comes from customers that cause 80% of your stress, 80% of your refunds, 80% of your returns. So what I'm going to suggest doing is every now and then go down, think about each of your customers, make a list of customers that cause you the most stress. The customers that aren't on auto pay, the customers you got to chase down to pay um, and fire them fire those customers might sound ridiculous Nick why would you ever turn down money right why would you turn down money why would you fire any customers well the answer is that to scale a business you have got to find good customers you gotta find customers that don't complain that don't cause headaches that don't disrespect you that don't treat your employees poorly those are the customers that you want to build your business on so what I'm going to suggest is fire the customers that aren't good Fire the customers that are causing your headaches. You know where they are, fire them. So how do you fire them? You can be very polite about it. You can say, listen, our business is going a different direction. Unfortunately, I'm no longer gonna be able to service your account. It's that easy, super polite, maybe even give them the number of a competitor. What's the matter? What's the matter? You got, your, you got stuck? Are you stuck? You got it? So get rid of those customers and sometimes you get custom, new customer every day, right? New customer every day. How do you fire 20% of your customers if you're getting new customers every day? None of them have repeat business. Figure out which customers are good for your business. Figure out which customers are profitable, which customers you make money off of and get rid of the rest. If you are a, um, let's say you are a lawn care company. Say that there's, cu there's customers that have a certain type of lawn that live on a certain type of house that generally are not your target customer. They always want to beat you up on price. They always complain. Don't market to those customers anymore. All right, don't accept those types of jobs. Maybe there's customers that want you to do mulch or want you to do um, trimming of a hedgerow or something like that. You can instantly get rid of those customers. And how do you figure out which ones you're profitable off of and which ones you are not profitable on? Well. You have to track your time, you have to track your expenses, you have to track your complaints, you have to track your headaches. Track the overall cost associated with every job. So when you're on a job, track it. If you do service for 10 different types of clients, you gotta narrow it down, whittle it down, figure out which type of customer you're making the most money from. And then stop accepting customers outside of that. It goes back to working in your wheelhouse. Work on the customers that are right for you and find more of those customers that are more profitable, that pay more. So don't think as a business owner that you have to get and you have to accept and you have to bend over backwards for every single customer for eternity. Get the customers that are good for you, get the customers that are profitable, forget about all the others, all right? Fire them, move on from them. That is step one to growing a profitable, scalable business. Figure out which 20% of your customers, and you know who they are, they complain, they gripe, they're a giant pain in the butt. Get rid of them. If you like this video, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel. Um, I release episodes like this all the time on becoming a better business uh, owner, becoming a better leader, and also check out my podcast. All the same information in a different format so you can consume it while you're on your way to work, while you're in the airport, while you're doing your chores, while you're mowing the grass. A great way to listen to all this stuff. Also, sweatystartup.com. All the show notes, all the details of all these episodes, as well as a huge back archive of awesome information to help you get better. While you're there, sign up for my email newsletter. Um, I send it out once a week. I'll never try to sell you anything. Um, it's short, it's sweet, it's to the point. It's designed to help you become a better manager, a better leader, um, or just a better person at your work, right? It's just awesome. And also we have a community on Reddit. 
um, reddit.com slash r slash sweaty startup. It's a forum where if you're having a question about your business, you're having a problem, you have a thought, you wanna ask a question, there's 13,000 like-minded individuals there helping each other. The community is growing fast. It's awesome. Um, as always, thank you so much for following along. I really appreciate it. Let me know how I can help.